Hi there, Steven here, and in this video I'm going to just go ahead and talk quickly about how you can transform a keyword list that goes from top down, so like in a column type of format, to something that, that goes from left to right, okay, comma separated, like this. And uh, it's quite easy actually when you use um, Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. I'm going to go ahead and copy these keywords here because I don't want to retype it because I am sort of lazy today. Let's go ahead and uh, choose a blank workbook here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the paste special function here. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more just to make it a little more interesting. And uh, it's quite simple, really, to do this in Excel. As you can see, it's in the, the A column here, here. And what we want to do is just go ahead and highlight your keywords. Uh, you can either right-click and uh, copy or I like to use shortcuts, so control C is the uh, shortcut for that. And uh, what you want to do is just choose a cell right next to it or anywhere on the sheet. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I like to do it usually right next to it here. And uh, just go ahead and cho choose the paste transpose function. Okay, just like this. Or alternatively, you can just uh, use right click, paste special choose the transpose button here, radio button, and push OK, does the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. I'm also going to delete these keywords. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this column because I don't need it anymore because now we have columns going this direction. Excuse me, the keywords going in this direction. So um, what you need to do now is just go ahead and save all the formats. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and save this to the desktop. And what you want to also do is save this into a CSV format, that's comma separated values. Okay, so it's going to insert the commas for us. Just go ahead and uh, click save. Uh, well, it doesn't, I guess, matter what uh, book number that is. Just go ahead and choose save. It's going to give you a couple of prompts. Just uh, don't bother, bother with those. Push OK and yes there. It's going to come up again when I try to close this vin window. Again, just yes. Uh, yes, okay. So now what we want to do is just open up the notepad, okay? So this was the window that we were in. I'm just going to go ahead and open a new one. No, I don't want to save. Uh, let's go back to the desktop. Make sure you choose all files. So it sees the CSV file. And uh, what you want to do now is uh, look for that book 5 right there. Okay. So now you see that it has been uh, separated with commas. And um, what you'll also notice is that number one, there's no comma at the end, which you can add if you'd like, or if it's necessary because of the software that you're importing this into. You'll also notice that there's no space in between these keywords, okay? So what you can do as a quick way of doing this and entering these commas in uh, without having to do it manually, is just choose edit, oops, replace, add a comma there and then replace with comma and then the space button so now you have uh, a little space there and just click replace all and as you can see it's added the space there and obviously retain the comma all the way across and that's it very simple straightforward hopefully this wasn't too complex and um, hopefully this is useful Thank you. This is Steven with Affiliate Marketing Diary. I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Thanks.